Hey, fam, how you doing? Okay. See if I get me and Tanya in the shot here. Brought to by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. My name is Lola Silvestri, and I'm going to be 95 this year. I was very independent. All right, there we go. And I had to have me so like to here. America. Let's I always mess around with the camera every week, everybody. One in six seniors basically. There we go. Hey family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. This message brought to you by Meals on Wheels America and the Ad Council. The views and opinions of the following paid programming show do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Spirit 1340 WYCB, Radio One Incorporated, or their management. Welcome to Vision for Change Radio with John Stevenson. When faith meets information, everything is possible. It takes just one moment to put your life on the road to success and personal fulfillment. You can obtain God's best when you can see your future in your present. Listen in as we share information that will inspire your spirit and empower your soul. Well, praise the Lord. Good morning, family. Welcome to Vision for Change. I am your wonderful host, John Stevenson, and it's a wonderful day in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, my calling number today is 240-638-5430, 240-638-5430. Now, we can change the format a little bit today because I want to uh, just address us as the body of Christ, you know. There's so much going on, and I have a wonderful guest in the house. Let me introduce her. Hello, social media family. Let me say hello to everybody. I've got a beautiful, wonderful comedian of the year from church. Well, well, Tanya Lewis is comedian. You, I, I, I say church because people don't know what the comedian of the year is and where it's from. Tanya, tell us how you won that, and we introduce you, and we'll talk later on, okay? Um, it's um, through Church Stars. It's a network. They're um, based out of Phoenix, and it highlights comedians all over the world. Yeah, and Tanya is gonna she's gonna make us laugh. We're gonna talk about family, church, some good stuff. But before we get to that, I have a public service announcement. I want to address some of the things that some of us are as believers have been looking at and viewing through social media, through what's going on. Uh, I'm very involved with social media, and I can see uh, stress, I can see pain, and I, I can see what. Uh, I don't think it's love sometimes, um, and my reason for saying why I think it's not love sometimes is because I see, I believe in my heart, something's coming down the pipe, and there's division being set in the body of Christ, and that's not the will of God. I believe that when the enemy wants to attack us, he'll start doing things to divide us. And so the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 8, verse 6, says to, says to be carnally minded, listen, is, is death. That's what it is. It's, a, it's the flesh. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace in Christ. And so I want life. I want peace, which means i got to think spiritually. And my, me thinking spiritually means what does God want from me personally? Not just looking at what's going on politically sometimes. You know what I mean? What does God want for us personally? He wants us to love. And um, my first guest, um, there's some things that's going on on social media. Uh, and I want her to come on and address us and talk to us. Uh, if you're all familiar with uh, a gospel artist, Vicki Yohe, and she is on the line. And I brought Vicki on because I, I, some of the things that went on, I'll let her explain it, and some of you already know. Uh, but I want us to take the right stance and view things as a whole body. We've got some stuff going on. Kim Burrell has something to say. And I think the body of Christ, we're, we're misfocused. So let's let's talk to Vicki for a moment. Vicki, are you there? Yes, I am. How Thanks are, for having me on. How are you, dear? Well, you know what? I um, I just I can't tell you. I guess I'm I'm just really excited that that you've had me on. I'm, I'm doing several things today. I'm going to be on CNN this afternoon, but I really would love to address what has happened. Um, you know, through the 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 country is uh, is, is an unrest. It's, it's, it's the whole political climate. It's a very sensitive time, and I was very insensitive in posting something that someone had sent to me. It's a picture of what would appear to be like a Jesus with holding some suitcases, and it says, "On my way back to the White House." And um, uh, when I when I saw it, the first thing I saw, I wasn't thinking, "Oh, that the man was white, or that was literally Jesus." But what I was feeling when I saw that was that in this next administration, while we know Trump, President Trump, is uh, has so many flaws. I mean, uh, I, I don't approve of things that he has said in the past. 
I, I don't approve of some of, I, there's a lot of things I don't approve about him. But one thing, when I saw that picture, I thought, you know what? He had, we, we would now have a voice in, in, the, in the White House Christians, more Christians, but he's a lot of people that surround him. Paula White prayed, Harry Jackson, 21, um, uh, I think there's 21 advisors. Uh, even though he's not, you know, I heard a prophecy that said that he would be in the White House. He would not be a praying man. He will fool the people. And uh, so many things that, you know, fool us. We, who, who even thought that he would even, even, I mean, I thought it was a joke in the beginning. I was like, really, Donald Trump? And so, so much of this prophetic word has, has come to pass. But for me, uh, it wasn't, you know, you know me, John. I, I don't have a racist bone in my body. And mm -hmm. a lot of people that would just see it that don't know Vicki Yoey, oh, wow. So she's saying now Jesus was never in the White House. And, and oh, look, at she's got this white Jesus. They're saying that it's a, I'm, I'm making a big deal about white. Now, it has nothing to do with, listen, this is not. Hello? She got interrupted. Okay, for those who don't know. I think my fat hand probably hit one of these buttons over here. Girl, no, you didn't. Should I hit the button? I don't think so. Are you there? I'm, I'm there. We're, we're, we're there. We're back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Continue. What I was saying was, for me, it's not a Republican thing, uh -huh. Democrat. It's not a white thing, a black thing. It's a God thing for me. And you know what? I just, I just, uh, you know, some people may say, well, we, well, look how, you know, how horrible of a man that, you know, uh, people are saying that Donald Trump is. You know, God can use, God used a lot of things in the Bible that wasn't, you know, and I'm not going to say what he could use, but he, he used a lot of things. And you know what? We just got to trust God that God knows what he's doing. Now, back to my post, because I don't want to get so far away from this post. I was totally wrong, insensitive. I posted too soon, even about when I said something about march all you want, protest all you want, President Trump. My whole thing wasn't that I'm insensitive to women's rights and that kind of thing. But I was just my in, in my in my uh, posting, I should have been more sensitive to what I said. I would just say he's in the White House. My point was we've got to pray for him. Yes, we can protest, but he's there. We got to focus our energy on praying for this man. It's, you know, it's like being on an airplane and. And, and, and hoping the pilot fails. You know, I hope he, he does great. I hear people say, well, I hope he fails because he's this and he's that. And so uh, I just want to come on here and apologize to the body of Christ because I am not a racist. People that know me, they know that's not true. I love all people. But this is a God thing for me. This is a God thing 100%. Had nothing to do with, you know, the, the, uh, that President Obama was a, a black man. I was so excited when he got into the White House, a black man in the White House. So has nothing. what has happened was someone got a hold of this that don't know Vicki Yoey. They saw the white face up there. They saw the post, and they began to, it went viral. And so uh, thank you, John, for letting me get on here. I, I love everyone. I love all my fans and, and black pastors that, that you've had me at your church. And, you know, we've had a few cancel me, but they, the ones that have canceled me, they really don't. I've never really been at their churches before, so they really don't know me. Okay, well, Vicki, let me, let me, Vicky, hey, Vicky, let me jump in real quick, okay, because I, I want, I we got a little bit of time. I got time here. Tanya, say hello to Vicki. I'm taking all y'all time. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> say, say, say hello, Tanya, because, you know, she's in the house, you know. Hey, how you doing? And, and, and uh, Vicki, I want to say, because when, when I saw it yesterday morning, I was like, oh, my God. Now, I, I, I follow you, you know, we're friends on Facebook, and, uh, you express yourself, your, your page is your page, and you say what you want to say. Um, when I saw that, I thought, oh, wow. I did. It, it took me back a little bit. And I went to church, and I said, then I got back, and I saw all the backlash. And I said, oh, my God. But my heart went out for you. I thought about the body of Christ that might look at that and be hurt. Because when you don't know a person, you will think, okay, it's, they're doing this now. And maybe Vicky's backtracking because of the money. And she's going to miss money. And uh, the orphanage, no. you know. And you saw, I, saw, I read all of that stuff. I read what um, a notable gentleman who is an uh, activist had said. He wrote a letter to you. Um, and so I do know that some people are misunderstanding. And, and I think that right now um, there is some divisive things going on in the body of Christ. Because we're looking too much thing at the natural but what I want to do is, and bring you on so you can talk about this, is I want us to filter things through love. And, and I think Absolutely. that love does forgive. And regardless of what people feel your intent was, only you know what your intent was, I think as a body of Christ we have a responsibility because there, there are people dying going to hell. And if we don't bring this right. together and we keep separating based on our views, we're going to miss what God wants to do. And when we stand before God, he's not going to talk to us 
about what somebody posted on Facebook, Instagram, who was in the White House. He's going to talk to us about what kind of response did we have based on what we saw and what we felt. And, and we're not taking a Christ-like response. So, Jesus, I appreciate, Vicki, you coming on, taking the Christ-like response to apologize, to clarify, and to just give us some kind of hope in Vicki, okay? So you got anything else you want to say to us? Well, that I, I love everyone, and I absolutely, um, you know, if I if, if I was, like, going, really focusing on the money, okay, okay, then I probably wouldn't have even posted that. Well, I better not post this because the churches don't have me anymore, and, you know, it, it's about that. And I didn't do the apology for the money. You know, God is my source. God right. has always been my source. My orphanage, oh, not one time have I thought, oh, oh, the orphanage is going to go, uh-uh. God is my source, and you know what? I just... I apologize because I deeply am sorry. I was totally wrong. It was insensitive. And, um, you know, people post a lot of stuff on Facebook. I just, I don't, you know, people say, did you see this video this lady makes? Uh, there's artists, there's people doing stuff. I said, no, I'm not going, I'm not doing that. Why should I just watch everything on social media? I am off of social media. I am not doing anything. I'm not looking at anything. I'm letting everyone know that I'm very, very, very sorry. And I hope that we can heal. And if you can't forgive me, then it's on you. But um, I, I'm just asking for forgiveness. And I, I, t I was totally wrong. Okay, well, Vicki, I appreciate you taking the time to come on and even talk to our audience. I really do. Tanya, you got anything you want to say to Vicki? I know you're going to be you're going to be with Vicki for a while, right? Well, I, yeah, I was booked yeah. for her cruise um, for August, and um, I mean, I'm I'm African American, so when you look at it, even um, it looks like, well, um, was he not there before? Um, Christ not there in the White House before? So I can see where they. Um, may have come off as kind of racist. I mean, I've met Ricky before, so I'm not calling, I'm not putting my mouth on anyone. I love everyone. Mm -hmm. So I really didn't have anything to say about it. I mean, I received a lot of messages, like, you're going to mess up your career if you do her cruise. I'm like, God is my source. And I know my ministry, um, I pray over before I do anything. And I was booked way before any of this happened. So it's not going to be suicide to my ministry at all because um, I know I hear from God myself. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, I'm African-American, and I, I'm, I, I've had my own racial experiences, so I know how it feels as an African-American and how it could have been offensive. Um, you did see, did post the apology, and then I see a lot of people came back and said, well, she didn't apologize, right? So it's like, nobody's going to be happy. Yeah. But I'm, I, I mean, I'm not upset. Um, well, let me, can, let me, can I finish? I'm going to be happy. <laughs> regardless of what's going on, I'm going to enjoy my life, you hear me? So, regardless of what's going on, I just want us to fo refocus ourselves, you know? And Tanya, you're going to make us laugh today. We gonna, you're going to be you, I'm going to be me, Vicky, you're going to be you, and God is still on the throne, regardless of who's president or what's said. I'm going to have to slip off. i got to prepare for the CNN interview. Okay. I got to call the producers and stuff, but I love you guys and thank you so much for having me on. You're welcome. Okay, mm -hmm. family, we're gonna we're gonna either everybody shake it off, shake it off, everybody shake it off at home. All right, <laughs> and they got some comments. All right, we're gonna slide into DJ Soul for a couple minutes. And I'm gonna jump back on with my girl Tanya Lewis. Oh, all right, let the comments begin. Let the fun begin. Chime in, chime in. Hey, Dari said, hey, Tanya and my brother. How you doing? I told her she loves you. Uh, thank you, Dawn. I appreciate her response. Yeah, we're going to enjoy it. <laughs> I'm not worried about me and black people.
was in the club listening to it like. I remember I think I was probably in the club when it first came out. Yeah, 30 seconds. Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. That is DJ Soul. You can find him DJ Soul 73 on Twitter, DJ Soul 73 on Facebook. Dwayne Harris, man, thank you so much, DJ Soul. We we to start our shows all time with more DJ Soul stuff, you know, because he he got some nice mixes, man. I feel like I can, you know, I I, I grew up in an age where we went to church and it was just uh the songs just wasn't. I mean, it brought glory to God, but I just couldn't get with it. Oh, them old songs, Add to the Cross, Add to the Cross. That's what we grew up. Yeah, I grew up with that stuff. It was good stuff. But then when I was young, wasn't nobody else listening to that stuff, you know? (laughs) So anyhow, my guest today, y'all heard her. I introduced her briefly, but I'm going to let her explain who she is. Tanya, I don't do long bios. I know you you can better tell us about you than me telling them about (laughs) you, okay? So today I have Miss Tanya Lewis. She is the comedian of the year, the church stars. And we tell who's church stars. If you're on the internet and you see Kevin on stage, Miss Tanya Lewis, there's a bunch of folks that I watch and laugh at. And I, she's my sister in Christ. I see her and she goes to a Victory Christian Ministries International. And I see her at some of the conferences and I think, oh, that's Tanya. Never introduced myself. And then she wins the award. I felt like I won. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Vision for Change family, yeah. welcome Miss Tanya Lewis to the Vision for Change show. All right. How you doing? All right, I'm doing well. I'm making sure I'm hitting on these buttons over here. Yeah. I didn't cut Vicky all. They probably said, oh, she did that on purpose. Yeah, so I'll make sure. Yeah, I know. It's, it's good when we come in the studio. So welcome. I'm glad you're here. All right. Thank you for having me. It's all all right. right. Well, we had just a conversation prior to you going on, and, and I'm, I'm glad you chimed in on it because I know it's a little tense right now. But I've been on a series for a little while talking about how to enjoy life. John chapter 10, verse 10, talks about in the Amplified. It says, Jesus said we should have life. To the full, to the filter, to, to the overflows, and we should enjoy it. Don't you agree with enjoying life? Oh yes. Yeah, and I like I like to enjoy. I like to laugh. That's why I got you here today, so we can talk and you can make us laugh. Tell us a little bit about Tanya. Um, well, I'm a comedian and I do comedy full time right now, okay. and that wasn't my plan, but I got laid off, and it seemed like since I've been doing comedy, I kept getting laid off. So mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, it must be meant for me to do comedy full time, yeah. and so I, I do it full time right now. So I'm blessed to have an event. Pretty much every weekend. All right, that's what yes. I'm talking about. And y'all, she's been she's opening for Jimmy Walker. Some who else? Yes, yeah. um, I've opened for Shanita Morris, Akatune Day. I have a show with Small Fire coming up. All right. Um, Sister Cantaloupe and I received awards. Um, the Key to B. So it's like every comedian that I've been like, oh, I can't wait to do a show with. Uh-huh. Um, God has opened the door for. Her. All right, that's what I'm talking about, and a, and a, and a, and a sister, a sister in Christ, Amen. So, all right. Anyway, Tony, let's let's talk. Let's talk about. Let's, let's first talk about. You got kids, right? Yes. Ain't kids interested? Oh Lord, <laughs> my three are. They always have something to say. I have three children. Uh huh. I have um, my daughter. She's in college and she's studying psychology. Mm-hmm. And now she wants to tell me what's wrong with me. So that's funny within itself. Uh-huh. And then I have two boys that are fifteen and sixteen. Uh, okay, okay. Yes. What's, what's some funny things with them? Oh my God. One, um, Marcus. Marcus. He's pretty laid back. He's like on the tablet all the time. So he's pretty like. Okay, but the one that really like keeps me guarded, like he's my daddy, uh-huh. is my son Mark, and I uh-huh. post about him all the time. He's like, I know the call on his life. He like football. Uh-huh. He's really into God, but he uses the scriptures to like work for his good. So uh-huh. he, he's a mama baby. So. Uh-huh. You say he's okay. Yeah. You work for his good, like what? Yeah, it's like Pastor Tony, he preached about um, heavenly account. So he'll want something. He's like, you need to go to your heavenly account. And I'm like, you're at the age where you can hear from God yourself. And he be like, well, God told me to ask you for it. So he he he's definitely something else. Mm-hmm. But my children, they go to school four hours away from me, so they're there full time. So oh, it's like it's like hard. And I really don't talk about it too much, so a lot of people don't know. Uh-huh. It's like one of the hardest things to deal with. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I got my kids at home. I, I don't believe in the empty desk no more because though they're grown, some still you know they still waiting to get on their way. But uh, when they were little boy, we had, I got stories. When I preach, I tell our stories. So I got one we called my son Marcus. He's the informant. He was always telling. You know, Dom- mm-hmm. Dominic was a sensitive one. John's sensitive. He's more sensitive. They posted something the other day about being sensitive, who, who I, defining each other. You know, but Marcus, that was my one. Karen and I said he was the informant. We needed to know something. 
Yeah, we, we, we didn't slide him no money, but he was snitch mm-hmm. <laughs> on everybody else. And now he don't snitch on nobody. That's a shame. And that's the thing. My kids, like, they don't get along <laughs> with each other, uh-huh. but you think they should. But um, they won't snitch on each other. They'll come together and work together so that they don't get in trouble. So they do have, like, a unified system. You know, so, when I grew up with my sister, we, and she's watching, we snitched. Same. And we just told, I don't know if we were trying to get favor with Ma or what. I don't know what it was, but we, we, we snitched. <laughs> okay, so this thing, okay, let's talk about this vision and step out on faith, because this is a step of faith to step out and do this comedy full time. Yes. You know, so, I mean, I know you totally walk in my faith with this one. Oh, it's definitely a faith walk. I mean, anyone that totally doesn't work and have to rely on God. Mm. And I'm telling you, like, for the last couple of years, it was like a process. Um, first to having my kids to separate from me, being laid off. And when I say when I first got laid off, I didn't have any savings. Um, my kids were younger. I had like two dollars. And it taught me to really depend on God. Because we say we but to depend on God, but like he would say, Go here. And somebody was like, I'm gonna fill your car, go here. And I'm going to um and somebody was like, I'm gonna buy your food. And I'm like, What? So it taught me a couple years ago to be totally dependent on God. Wow. But I didn't like I said I depended on God, but when I say like depend, I was going to conferences, looking good. People are like you don't work, how you getting this? I'm like God. Mm-hmm. I mean, even now, um, it's like things I even think about. He he'll make a way for it, so it's like mm-hmm. mind blowing. I know it's amazing, you know. It, it, we say we trust God, but you know everything is working like it needs to work, and that's not like not not saying that that's not God. But to really be relying on God when you don't know what's gonna happen, that can be some trepidation. I mean, doing I mean, working by faith. I'm on the radio by faith, you know, doing things that God told me to do. And you say, Okay, Lord, I don't see the next step. All he wants you to do is just take the step and he meets you everywhere you go. Oh yeah. And um the pastor they were preaching on resting in God. And I'm like, uh, what's resting in God? I ain't know nothing about no resting in God. I'm the one of the people I be trying to help God. Like, um, carry the one, carry the two, what we gonna do, Lord? Like I ain't got time to rest. I got things going on. So, um come some resting. Who gonna pay this bill? So it was like when I finally was like, you know what? Pastor Tony's like, uh, when Christ died, we died. I said, Well, I'm dead right now. Then people don't have no bills, so I'm gonna trust and I'm gonna rest in God. And that thing like really helped me. So I'm like, I'm resting in God. They can call me, I'll be like, oh, um, it's coming. Have faith. Have faith. You gotta believe God like I'm believing God. Mm-hmm. And the we, bill collectors to get saved. I try to get them. Do you know God? Get them saved. <laughs> so at least we be on the same page. You got call ID and see everybody know that. Okay. I don't know nobody with no eight hundred, no eight seven seven. Who was Oh, they slick down. They will call you unavailable. And I tell them, they call me unavailable. I'm like, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so so now you find you find you, you, your ministry bringing laugh to the people because I like to laugh and I know when I laugh I feel better. You know, we go, I've gone through some pressures in my life, uh, things have gone on, but somebody could come on and it, it could be whoever, it could be Kevin Hart, it could be whoever. You know, sometimes we feel like well I gotta have a Christian comedian and we need to have that in the body of Christ. If I laugh, it does my body good. I even feel better. You know, and that's why I believe your ministry is. Talk about that a little bit. Um, and let me say, I remember I had someone come up to me for the first time, and I always say it's ministry. A lot of people say it's business, and there's a business aspect to it, but I know God called me to this for ministry. He's like, I'm going to bring laughter to the kingdom. I'm like, um, I don't know what that means. And I started off being labeled as a Christian comedian, and then I met Monique, and she's like, you funny. You can do comedy anywhere. And I was like, I'm not going to switch my name because I know I heard God say bring laughter to the kingdom. Mm-hmm. And I was in a backslidden in state, and I just came back to church, and I'm like, her God was like, be a Christian comedian. I was like, I'm trying to be a Christian right now, so I don't want to be sitting here labeled as a, a Christian comedian, then they're going to expect me to live a certain way. And I ain't all the way here yet, Lord. So eventually I dropped um, the name when he said it was okay. And so now I'm just comedian Tanya Lewis where I can go out to different places. It's still going to be clean. It's still going to be... Um, there's no cussing or anything, and I have people like you need a cuss to be funny. I said, like, no, you don't. Yeah. But um, I've had people come to me like I was gonna kill myself, and it's something you said that I was able to laugh and no longer um, wanted to kill this. I have people inbox me even times when I'm like I'm feel like I'm sad. I have people to inbox me. So I'm like I ain't even got time to be sad, even though I got to deal with stuff myself. Mm-hmm. But people are like constantly um, like reaching out. Laughter mm-hmm. is definitely healing. Well, you know, um, I, you know, when we think about getting the word from God, everybody wants to add a scripture to it, you know, and, and we do need the word. We need the written word, but there's a rhema word. Do you feel like when you get up and you're flowing what you're flowing, that God is flowing through you to make us laugh? We think that when we think of Jesus, 
We think he's walking. Oh, we think he can hear that music. We think that he's he is too serious. A laughing. A telling no jokes. I think he's laughing. Some of the stuff I think he's laughing at right now. Oh, definitely. <laughs> you know? Oh my God, yes. Mm-hmm. And it's like he talked to me, and I'm telling you the conversations, like and how God and I talk. Like I was thinking about money the other day. I was like, oh my God, Lord, all right, I need this done. And them say, I was like, God, I tell people, I told my friend, I was like, look, I think God didn't smile with me because I heard in my spirit because I didn't go to my church for the last two Sundays because I had an event. And he was like, pay your tithes. And I'm like, oh, he's trying to get smart with me. <laughs> Not like he need my money. What do you mean pay your tithes? But because I was out on travel, I didn't pay my tithes uh-huh. because I hadn't been to church. And I was uh-huh. like, okay, we got the option to pay online. Yeah. So they like, so, <laughs> all right, I get what you're saying, Lord. Yeah, yeah, don't, <laughs> so, yeah don't, don't deny it. Because that's the, if you're blessed to be a blessing and the blessing comes on your life, then we need to be tithing, amen? So you got to got to do what you got to do, amen? Talk real quick because I know we're running out of time. Just, I'm being told to wrap it up. Comedian of the Year. I heard your testimony when you were made Comedian Year of Church Stars. I was just taken by how God got you there and got you there. Well, you didn't respect that, did you? Not at all. Talk a little bit about that. We got about, about a minute or so. Cool. Um, it, it was, like I said, it was a lot of process because people see the laugh. And I'm having my first women conference actually in August. And it's behind the mask because a lot of people don't know I masked a lot of stuff from being homeless. Um, from losing a lot of things, from my kids separating. So I would make people laugh during the day, and then at home, I'm at night crying, and I'd be like, God, this ain't fair. And I had to realize the same thing that I minister out is the same thing that God wanted me to have. Mm-hmm. So I, I, was, I was totally taken by surprise when I won. So. Right. Well, t- tell us, uh, how can people get in touch with you? If they need to get you and book you for whatever event, church, non-church, whatever, how can they contact you? Um, Facebook is Comedian Tanya Lewis. That's C-O-M-E-D-I-E-N-N-E, Tanya Lewis. And my website is Anointed to Laugh. Anointed is what? One N. Because a lot of people tell me, I can't find you. I said one N, and it's the number two. So anointedtolaugh.com. Okay, okay. You you do any event? Come no, I pray now. over all my events. Okay. Just, 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 <laughs> we'll pray over it. Be led of the Lord. Yes. Amen. Listen, Tanya, I thank you for being here. And uh, thank you for chiming in for the video. He, um, um, a comment that you made. I appreciate that. And uh, we need to have you back on here so we can fully get some of Tanya. Is that cool? Yes. Okay. Family, we're going to go to commercial. We'll be right back. Hello, this is John Stevenson from the Vision for Change Radio Show on WYCD 1340 AM. You want to be a part of something great? Join me with John Stevenson Ministries and the Vision for Change Radio Show. You can be a partner of what we do. You can contact us at info at jsmonline.org. That is jsmonline.org is the website. Or you email me at info at jsmonline.org. If you're interested in the family, Tanya, find Tanya, find Tanya, find Tanya, please find Tanya. Please find Tanya. If you can just believe. Well, praise the Lord. Before I let you go, I want to thank uh, both my guests today. I want to thank Vicky Yohe for chiming in and coming on and just loving on us. And I want to thank Miss Tanya Lewis for being in the house. Amen. All right, before we let go, Tanya, anything you want to let the Vision for Change family know about their purpose and what they can do to step on over. You talk to us a little bit before we go um, on. To walk in their purpose, because a lot of people don't know their purpose, and it's normally the thing that you would do, even if you could do for free. Um, a lot of people walk in fear, but God has given us all a gift that we can use to glorify God and bring money to the kingdom and bring people to the kingdom. So just walk in your purpose, no matter what it is. Yeah, and it, I heard this. My mama said to me years ago, do it afraid. You hear me? Do it afraid. Sometimes you're scared to step out. Step out there and do it anyway. You heard Tanya. She said she stepped out didn't know what was going to happen. But God met her every step of the way. Amen. Family, we love you. Listen, when you love, give, and serve your gift to the world, all things are possible if you can just believe. Go to our website, jsmonline.org. We love you. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye. All right, family. All right, we're hanging around, hanging around, hanging around. I don't have anybody behind me. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the good show. Comments, thank you, thank you, thank you all. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. I see, I know how folks feel right now. I know how you feel. But listen, uh, I want us to all think this way. I'm going to put time you the shot here. We're walking in love. All right, we're walking in love. Okay, family, that's what we're doing. And I don't want you focused on the body of Christ on the wrong things. Because that's how the enemy will get to trick us and things can happen in our lives. Listen, filter everything. We all have a Christ-like response to everything. And that was the first segment of my show 
we had Vicki Ohi on, and she explained herself, and she apologized. So uh, I know I have done some things that wasn't right, and I'm not saying. No, I know I got a long list of things that I haven't yeah. done right. <laughs> <laughs> and truth be told, I could be not doing something right right now. <laughs> <laughs> but we ain't gonna know until this. Until after we sign off on Facebook Live, my thing is, and like I said, I'm not siding with Vicki. So let's get this. Let's put this out here now. I'm not siding with Vicky. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying she was right when she was wrong. I'm mm-hmm. not saying she is racist. It's like, I know I, we're the walk in love. Mm-hmm. I, I don't agree with Trump done it at what he said. But like God can use anything. Like I, I've done I, I've done a whole lot of things. But I know I need God to forgive me. We do things that we know God needs to forgive us. So my thing is, I'm I'm just not going to bash anybody or say anything. Exactly, and, and I'm African American. I haven't been called the N word, and yeah, Lord knows I have. I know gone I still through. had to pop off spirit. God is still working with me, and it ain't about getting Vicky money and all that because shows are coming. God opened doors, so it ain't got. If she put me off the cruise today and tomorrow, <laughs> and then I'm gonna be all right. And, and so. God and God is our source, but here's what, here's what I want you to do, because whatever you sow is what you're gonna reap. Okay, so watch your comments, watch your attitudes. You know, God is looking at all of this. And when you get to heaven, you're going to stand. It's not our job job to judge. Jesus said he didn't even come to the earth to judge it. But we're going to stand before God based upon what we did in our works here. And remember, love is kind, it's gentle, it's long-suffering. And those fruits have to be developed. And you never know where you are with love until some pressure shows up. And I believe right now in, in America, we're facing some pressure. And it is exposing how what we really are. We mask things, and we don't really, we think we, we're walking by faith. We think we're loving God. We think we're loving everybody till something comes up to test that. Now, find out where you really are. What are your comments? And so, really, if you love Jesus, let's display Jesus. Let's develop ourselves right now. And let's get strong in our faith of love, okay? Because everything you believe in God for, the Bible says faith works by love, okay? So I did want Vicky on to talk about some things. Now, for all of my Facebook and uh, Periscope, y'all can comment after this. If you're watching this later on, please give some comments. Share it out. Give me some feedback on it. If you got some ideas for some shows, I want to bring some people in that can help love on you and minister to you and give you some things, okay? I meant to ask Vicky. Um, she said the church has counseled um, her. I wanted to know, because I'm nosy um, mm-hmm. and concerned, like what churches counsel her. Mm-hmm. So I can call and see if they want me to come sing. <laughs> Nakia, Nakia, no, we yeah. go. Uh, I'm gonna ask her to a church that they counsel her at, so we can go and take those engagements. We can take all, right. take all Vicky Yohi engagements. So. Anyway, Vicky, I love you. I know you're watching too, man, and I uh, appreciate you, my sister. Love you very so very much, and we're praying with you and for you. You know. Um, you know, it's not our job to judge anything, but I do appreciate you being very transparent, and I appreciate you jumping out here and expressing your, your love for the body. Amen. Black, white, no. indifferent, whatever it is, okay? So we love you so very much, everybody, for Vision for Change. Listen, stay tuned. Again, I want your comments even after you watch this. I need your comments and your feedback. I don't care what your feedbacks are. If you're not dogging somebody, you know, express your heart, but let's make sure we're filtering it, love. Speak words of faith. Amen. Love you so much. See you next week.